Hello, today I'm going to talk about assonance and along with it alliteration because they kind of go together. Assonance is a repetition of a vowel within a line and in a way this is very similar to alliteration where the words start with the same letter but instead of being at the start it's in the middle of um, the words. So for alliteration if you haven't heard of that it here's an example where it's um, repeating the letter F. From fortune finds fashion forges fabulousness. So you might find this in newspaper headings to add emphasis, but after a while it can seem a bit silly that you've, you're you just repeating that letter. And in that sentence you can hear that the sounds in the middle of the word changes quite a bit. So from is an O, fortune, those are two O sounds, so that could be assonance. Finds is a sharp I sound. Fashion is a longer, but it does have the O, and forges, and this fabulousness has an O sound in it. So there is a little bit of, um, there is a tiny little bit of assonance within that, um, but not, um, not, it's not so over, overly done that it's a poetic technique, I would, I would say, in that one. Um, because it is in the middle of words, it can be a little um, harder to pick up. Um, and a bit of background, it's been used in Old English, particularly Anglo-Saxon sort of ballads and Welsh poetry. And I'm sure it's used in a lot of other um, traditions as well. I think French and Spanish, they definitely, definitely use it, but I'm not an expert there. Um, so it's a repetition of a vowel, but it's also kind of the vowel sound. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same letters. So you could have could, which is an OU sound, and then book, which is a double O sound, and then a U sound, and that's similar sound of vowels. Um, and an example that I've got of assonance, the sound down pounding, pouring, roaring, the rain did come. That's, you've got an, the O-U sound there repeating and, and quite a long O sound drawing out the, the words. The technical term, if you're interested, of two vowels together which make a sound is a diphthong. Um, if anyone needs to use that in their GCSE English sort of thing. Um, so the Welsh poetry that venerates um, using assonance and alliteration it, it does it in a particular pattern to interweave um, sounds together to make a, quite a nice harmony and it's called King King Galeth um, and it's also in English it's in a lot of popular sayings um, and it makes them more memorable I think so no pain no gain that, that you've got AI repeating there stranger danger you've got an A sound is often also used in tongue twisters. And so this is an example with double O, U, O, U. So it's how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. It makes it quite tricky because you're going between the two different or three different um, diphthongs there, so different vowel sounds. So it's quite tricky, um, but there is repetition in those that is a similar type of sound there um the effect does kind of vary depending what um letter you've got um or vowels you've got repeating if they're longer ones um it can draw on a sentence or if you're varying them it can make it tricky to say um and if it's a sharp i sound it can make it shorter um, like fish and chips that's quite that's a repeat of the I um, and it can make it quite sharp and abrupt um, so you can use it to make a kind of music in in the poetry that you're using and that's kind of the point in in the Welsh ones um, and also for anyone interested because um, Welsh words when in Welsh grammar when you put them together uh, you can drop the start of the word, the, the effect can be really highlighted. So um, it might have come from that and then been brought into English, who knows. Um, and it's really popular technique um, and in quite a lot of um, 
really famous poetry. So um, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud um, by William Wordsworth. He uses it in the first uh, verse. And Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Dylan Thomas really likes it. He's a Welsh uh, poet and he uses assonance quite a lot. Um, so there we go. That's what assonance is. I hope that's been useful.